there is only one really positive thing the sun is shining it's going to be spring you can feel it in the air My name is Tommy and there is... And there is... Hi Rob. Louis. Hi. Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Louis. And... <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to another video. My name is Tommy. My name is Rob. And this is Louis and we have guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is Rob trying to dressage his dogs. <laughs> uh, yeah, in this video we're going to show you how our week was because, yeah. It was a little bit of a different week, of course. Everybody had a different week, but still we did some interesting stuff. We did some, <laughs> some cool stuff. So uh, I hope you like it and enjoy the video. Hello. Hello. What did you do? I don't know. Have a look. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I hope you're all well with this whole virus is going on and really infect literally our lives. But there is only one really positive thing. The sun is shining. It's going to be spring. You can feel it in the air. I hope everybody's well. Take care of yourself. I'm going to train my horses now. Ta-da! I'm changed and showered already. I was uh, happy with the horses. Uh, so yeah, now I have to go to the supermarket because when I saw the news people were thinking that there was a war coming or so they were collecting like I don't know how you call it hamster <laughs> so it's corona crisis as you know um, all events have been cancelled obviously so uh, we have a little bit more spare time of course and so I was thinking maybe it's good to practice this with one of my uh, youngsters so I have my uh, five-year-old now Kane Kane is my uh, giant bulldozer, it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a huge horse. I bought him from uh, friends of ours uh, as a colt, uh, so five years ago. But he's like <laughs> huge, huge, um, but I think he's very talented. Um, but he's quite dominant and very hot. That could be useful in the future, but now it's a bit uh, complicated sometimes. And now at home uh, it goes really well, but if Kane wants to go left, he goes left and if Kane wants to go right, he goes right. So it's my job to uh, teach him that he has to listen to me. I'm going to train in a different arena of a friend of mine. See, he's not really tiny or something. I think he's 180 something. Yeah, nice. Hey, hey, don't. you how happy I am because I went outside and I went in show mode as you know like uh, he has to do it in a show and he didn't look and he wasn't spooky and it was nothing and still really hot and listening to me so uh, I'm really happy um, so you know that's the plus side of today we can't go anywhere but we can train and we can get better and I think he, he just got better today so so yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have my video training. Um, yeah, unfortunately I couldn't go to Ukraine. I should have gone this week. Um, I'm going to Ukraine now already for like eight years. So we are very lucky that we have this technology these days so we can have this training at home. Because yeah, we have nothing else to do besides train our own horses of course. They have a camera with the laptop over there. You have only like a second delay or so but it works really, really well. And then I'm calling her through WhatsApp. Hello, <laughs> I'm good, how are you? Super. Pick up the phone. 
Hello? Hello? It's me. Hi, Tommy. <laughs> how are you? I'm good, thank you. And how are you? I'm good too. I'm not sure when we're going to have competition again. But yeah, let's keep on practicing that if we can go again that you're ready. So make some transitions from walk to trot and trot to walk and feel that if you slow him down that the hind legs can keep continuing being active without you need to support him too much for doing that. So what I mean is that when you make a transition to walk, don't try to push too much with your legs or actually not use your legs at all and feel that he stays active himself. So now make a transition to walk, make it fluently. Yeah, okay, that was a good decision. You didn't stop because you felt you lose the rhythm. That's good. So I think you need to be a little bit more softer with your hands in the transitions. Slowly touch the bit so he won't get shocky when you go back, but it must be nice fluent. So, and now soft your hand, soft your hand, it's good. It's good, yeah, super. Make a transition to trot. Try to keep the frame and the position exactly the same like you have now. Soften your hand, soften your hand and go a little bit forward. Go a little bit forward. You lose too much energy now. Okay, that's no problem. That looks very good, Anastasia, super. That looks good. This is nice, active. Heat and the energy and the rhythm all the same. Soften your hands, super. Very good. Guys? Yeah, I'm just walking around outside and I'm going to look at the building construction because they are still working for as long as it takes. I have no idea how you call this in English, but this is dark uh, black wash oak. It looks really nice. To make it very, very straight. It's very difficult. So they did a really good job. Great. It's the same color as the front of the stalls, right? Yes, yes. It's still a bit more dark now. It's getting lighter. And of course, the, the footing will be uh, white in the end. I see outside there, they are working at the gardening. Um, going to talk now with uh, Dirk. Dirk is the, the chief at the construction site. He's working for uh, Altes. And I'm going to talk with him because also at the construction site uh, the crisis has consequences. I mean, uh, lots of things can't happen. We don't have a meeting now, for example, and deliveries uh, can't be there, so that kind of stuff. So I'm going to talk with him and uh, I hope he doesn't have uh, Lots of bad news and maybe a little bit of good news. The plus side is it's very good weather. Weather, weather. Um, it's springtime, so there's no rain anymore, so they can work outside. So that uh, is still going on. Uh, and for all the rest, we're going to ask him. Dirk, um, there was uh, we had some bad luck with the weather. It was very wet, and now it's finally getting dry. But now this crisis is going on. Can you tell me what the expectations are at the construction site? At the moment I have the problem, I can't tell exactly what we're gonna feel about deliveries, people that are ill or something. Um, at the moment we can work, but it's possible that we have to stop in two, three days if there will be a lockdown from the government. Mm -hmm. I don't know at the moment, it's really difficult for me and also for you um, to know when we are finished here. Everybody's working very hard still here at the construction site. Now we're at the, on the back in the, with the outdoor arena and the garden. Also inside is, they're still very busy, so everybody's still 
going strong, thank God. Um, so that's very positive of today. There is something funny going on, or funny actually. Yeah, we make the best out of it because, uh, yeah, through this whole Corona kind of stuff, you can't go follow your Pilates class, for example. But Rob is going to have his class now, and he's going to be teached uh, by the iPad. So what I'm doing with my Ukrainian clients, he is doing right now. So I'm going to secretly film him while he is being lying, doing all difficult stuff. So come, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Do you your arm, you your So today it's Sunday uh, and a few days ago um, I interviewed Dirk or I had a talk with Dirk. Now a few things have changed already. A few companies already uh, stopped working here because of the safety of their workers. Um, it's a shitty, uh, a shitty thing but you know there are bigger problems now than uh, the work here. I mean. Um, it's more important that our family is healthy, that the workers are healthy. So, you know what, whatever. Yeah, we will see. It's not a punishment for us to stay at home because we can go out. Huh? Yeah. I think we're lucky that we uh, can still ride. Maybe we can start digging ourselves <laughs> with a canter track, but uh, it's a little long but, way. Uh, not gonna happen. No. no. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Rob is going to try this new machine. Now we have a little bit time to figure out how it works. Uh, actually, there should have come someone to explain how it works, and it didn't happen yet. So now, uh, yeah, we have this huge new machine here, and. Uh, I'm really curious if Rob can handle it. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? So what is it exactly what you're going to do? Mold alone. Mold alone. Mold alone. Mold alone. Mold alone. Mold alone. Oh, yeah, Mold alone. I, I didn't know how you call it in English, so... Mold alone. <laughs> Mold alone. Is it fast? <laughs> uh, uh, break. <laughs> Do you know how you? Oh yeah, there was break. Uh, so I'm gonna try to ride this monster. Not a clue how this thing works. <laughs> yeah. Looks complicated, <laughs> and it looks very wide, and that is very narrow. So uh, first challenge: how to get on the lawn field lawn. Ga ik niet meer aan. Nee, nu is hij al kapot. Zet dat voor en achteruit. Ja, voor.
only one job. I told you this could go wrong. Liefde is samen het gras maken. So guys, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and maybe leave a comment down in the comment section. And see you next week. See you next week. What happened? I don't know. What did you do? <laughs> maybe because I sit on it and it oh, yeah, accidentally... Oh yeah, you, you, you <laughs> sat with your butt on these buttons. <laughs>